Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe 5 a.m. Saint from Brewdog is the one for you. Welcome back, everybody. So today we are going to try 5 a.m. Saint from Brewdog. This is 5% ABV. On the can, it says 21st Century Red Ale. Uh, canned on date is 12-27-18. Uh, I picked this up last weekend. This is the second week of February uh, at Drake's Party Center. 269 or something like that. Uh, untapped is saying 35 IBUs. It's funny, I was talking to some people that we haven't been getting a lot of brew dog in the area, and then I get two of them. So that's good news. Um, yeah, really nothing else. I don't want to read what it says because I like to try and go into these blind. Um, so we do have a, uh, a tannish caramel head on there, small and medium bubbles. A finger of head bubbles on the side are compact like dish soap. If we look at the color, Amber red in color, very clear. A couple bubbles coming up, not very many. Let's go ahead and get a smell. Sweet malt, some caramel in there, some citrus, and some pine. I think that that malt comes out the most, but I do believe in a red ale, that's what you're supposed to get. Uh, red ale it's red in color so you are going to use those darker darker crystals to get it that color but yeah that that citrus pine uh it, it almost smells like a double ipa uh where you get that malty sweetness up front then that mixture of that citrus and that pine to balance out that maltiness so let's go ahead and get a drink Sweet malt caramel on the front. As it goes back, you do get that citrus in there. A little toasted bread. It's gone after that. Um, aftertaste is a maltier, sweet toasted bread, like medium toast. Very smooth. Yeah, nice, easy drinking beer. I like how the the maltiness, that sweet malt and citrus balance each other out. They're not, the levels aren't, you know, way up there. It's nice and subtle. Uh, you could probably slam a couple of these. Um, but yeah, just overall a nicely well done beer. I don't think we've had many that we haven't liked from BrewDog. Um, but yeah, if you're into more of that like sweet malt, caramel, toffee-ish kind of beer with some hops on the back, I, I was thinking this was going to drink more like a double IPA where you were going to get a lot more of that sweet malt with that citrus and that pine. Really none... No pine on the back, maybe a touch, a touch of bitterness, uh, but that citrus and sweet malt play well off each other in this beer. For me, I'd probably have to go with a 3.75 out of 5. Nothing really stands out. It's just a nice, easy drinking beer that's not going to wreck your palate. You get some of that citrus, so if you're an IPA drinker, that sweet malt and that citrus mix well together, so I think you would enjoy it. But, yeah, there's really nothing sticking out in this beer. So if we look at Untapped, 16 of my friends have rated this average 3.63 out of 5. 105,000 people have rated this average 3.64 out of 5. Excuse me. Um, yeah, so they're right in line with this. Um, 
5 a.m. red ale is five malts, so five different kind of malts are used, five hops, and 5% ABV. So that's kind of cool that they used five, five, and five. So I wonder if they're going to do a three, three, and three. Hopefully not, but at least a three and a three because we don't want the ABV to be three. But um, I don't know if they have other ones, six or seven, something like that, because uh, even for, you can make a stout with seven, or I guess if you wanted to go crazy with a double IPA, you could do that too, but um, yeah, pretty good, uh, this does say caramel, um, chocolate buzz, I don't get that, uh, so yeah, just a, a malty beer that has some resemblance of an IPA in it. So yeah, pretty good beer. If you like this review, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, happy brewing.